Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be taking a different tangent on my channel. We're going to be talking about celebrity skincare routines and I'll sort of criticize them, say what I like about their routine. And yeah, this is gonna be a series which is going to be spinning off of my cosmetic chemistry videos as sort of like a continuation to that. I'm gonna play the videos and then we're gonna talk about the ingredients and you know if the product is good for all skin types, if it's good for certain skin types. It's gonna touch on like things that I've found about the products and tell you guys all that I know about it and you decide if it's something that might be a great fit for you. The first person to be featured for the series is Jordan Dunn who is a supermodel. She's flawless. I love her. I love her personality. I think she's a wonderful model um, but today we're gonna talk about her skincare routine and see if we like it if we don't talk about the products that she uses and see what it's good for who's good for and yeah let's just get into it hey guys it's me Jordan Dunn and we are in London for London Fashion Week super crazy super busy and uh, yeah I'm gonna show you <laughs> I'm gonna show you my my off-duty makeup look so I'm always getting girls in my DMs asking me when am I gonna drop the skincare routine? And yeah, I'm gonna drop it right now with Vogue Beauty Secrets. I love using medical graded skincare products because I just feel like they there's a science to back it up, they're active ingredients and they're just gonna work. And if my dermatologist recommends them and she's using them, then I'm gonna follow suit. I use a foaming glycolic wash. And the reason why I like this is because it is a high strength cleanser but then gently exfoliates your skin so what i'm gonna do i need to wet my face first and then i just massage it in also go to the neck everyone always forgets the neck it's like they pay attention to their face and then their face is nice and firm and plump and looking young and then your neck is looking like some kind of turkey neck and then i'm gonna rinse it off my next step is... So before she goes to the next step, I'm going to talk about the foaming cleanser that she just used. So the first thing is that this cleanser is 40 bucks. First thing that I noticed is that it does contain paraben, which has a lot of antifungal properties, but of recent, it's been discontinued in a lot of products. Even at my job, we've sort of taken paraben out of a lot of formulas because it's been found to have the ability to be injected in high rates by our bodies. And it's most popularly injected by breast cancer tissues due to its uh, ability to resemble the hormone estrogen in women. It's a preservative that we try to stay away from. It's obviously not gonna kill you if you use it here and there but it's just preservative that's just not favorable to a lot of uh, businesses another ingredient i found in this filming wash is limonene limonene is natural fragrance it's found in the back of citrus fruits it's not the worst thing it is a natural fragrance but it's still a fragrance it's been known to help inflammation and improve wound healing However, it can also cause like skin irritation, especially on people with really sensitive skin or people with skin conditions like eczema, rosacea, or even psoriasis. So if you have any of these conditions, I would advise just not to use this skincare product. Next step is this Clinicept. It's like a toner, but not really, but this is like an amazing product. So I just spritz this on and then pat dry it in with another towel. Let that soak in. We're gonna use a serum. The toner that she used, it's it's not really a toner. I did my research on it, so it's a uh, first of all, it's fourteen ninety nine euros. I think it's mostly sold in Europe, but it's sixteen dollars when compared to dollar amount. It has a gentle disinfectant action and it helps to protect the skin after aesthetic procedures such as chemical peels. And it also encourages like skin recovery and skin regeneration without causing irritation. There's only three ingredients that are in it: there's water, there's phosphoric acid, and there's sodium hypochlorite. The phosphoric acid is just used to balance pH, so I guess. With that, it does have toning properties. Sodium hypochlorite is used to cleanse and soothe the skin. It's also good for skin that's prone to irritation, like people with eczema and atopic dermatitis. It's kind of a toner, but it's really not a toner. Exuvance Age Reverse, which is an, um, another amazing. <laughs> I say no, but I, I, people overuse the word amazing, but this is actually really good because this is good for my dark spots, evens out my skin tone. One pump is enough because I used to just like squirt a lot of stuff and then realize actually why is all my products leak gone and it's like Jordan calm down just one pump is all you need 
I have always looked after my skin. I always take my makeup off before I go to bed. Even if though it's a bit of a chore, your skin will always thank you for it. I'm gonna use my Jade Roller. So the product that she just used is Exuvance Age Reverse Total Correct and Sculpt Serum. This one is $82. One of the ingredients that concerned me a little bit is Polysorbate 20. It has fragrance properties. It's a surfactant, it's an emulsifying agent, and it's also uh, used as a solubilizing agent. Polysorbate by itself has no harming properties, but when it has 20 or 40 attached to it, it means it's been treated with a chemical called ethylene oxide, and this does give it carcinogenic properties. However, it is used in amounts that are not concerning to the skin, but it's just something to just to keep in mind. Also, chlorophenicin, which is a synthetic preservative, is in this product. Again, it's being okayed by the FDA, but it's also something to keep in mind as well. Some of the things that I love about it is it does contain arginine, which helps to uh, protect the skin from free radicals, increase skin hydration, boost collagen properties. It contains glucosamine, which decreases signs of aging. It has caprylglycol, which boosts moisturization, and ascorbic glucoside, which is a vitamin C derivative, and it has antioxidant and skin brightening properties. It's a pretty good product. It doesn't have so much of a concern here. So yeah, use as uh, as you wish. Because after I put my serum, I just want to let you know, massage it all in, sculpts my face in that. Okay, so the most important step is sunscreen. Okay, she just used her jade ruler, and you guys, I love a jade ruler. I actually put mine in the freezer or fridge. Jade rulers are known for the ability to reduce puffiness in the face. They're great for sculpting, and they're also great to increase blood circulation. Okay, so the most important step is sunscreen. I feel like there's no point in supplying serums and all of that stuff and then to only go out and damage your skin by not wearing sunscreen, to not be protected, be protected. I like to use Black Girl sunscreen um, because for me, it's very moisturizing. Just do a little one drop on my forehead, there, neck. The thing is, I feel like, like myself, I was told growing up that, oh, Black people don't need sunscreen. We're highly melanated. And to some extent it's true, but our melanin only protects us only, only by a little bit. We are still at high risk at getting burnt. Black people do burn. Getting skin cancer. Get, and also, I get dark spots. So when I, if I go in the sun, the dark spots get worse and they actually stay there longer. So I don't want that. I am using serums to get rid of them. Boom. See, no grayness, still look like Jordan with no shiny, like shiny tin man look. So we love that. Next. Okay, I love the fact that she's using sunscreen. I mean, we should all be using sunscreen. If you watched my last video, you know that. But I did look at the sunscreen that she's talking about, the black girl sunscreen. And I love that they're not using oxybenzone, which is something that's been a bit worrisome about in the market recently. And they've replaced oxybenzone with avobenzone. But the problem is avobenzone and oxybenzone are pretty much in the same family. So you can't really tell if it's doing something good or something bad. But I love that she's emphasizing, you know, the use of dark skin on like dark people because that's so important. I'm gonna use another Exuvance moisturizer. It's a hydro firm. I like this because it's super hydrating, plumping, and it just feels so nice. It's like, makes my skin feel super smooth. And it's super light as well, so you can still use it in the summer. It was not super heavy, so it's not gonna clog up any pores. But it's time to put makeup on. I'm gonna talk about this last product and I'm gonna stop the video here because the rest of the video she just does her makeup and I really just wanted to focus on her skincare part. Last product she's using here is Exuvance at $79. This one also does contain fragrance, which is something I just don't like. Fragrance does have a lot of organic functional groups that can be highly irritating to the skin. It's just not my favorite. This product is also not suitable for oily skin because it has a lot of moisturizing ingredients in it and contains like a high dose of hyaluronic acid. So if you're oily, you might not want to use this product, but I do love that it has arginine again, which is great for fine lines and wrinkles, especially if you have really dry and patchy skin. And yeah, there you go guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed my new direction that I'm taking with my cosmetic chemistry videos. Leave a comment what you think about her skincare routine. Do you like it? Would you follow it? Let me know your thoughts below in the comment section. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.